Hi friends, today we are going to talk about duplicate checks in SAP S4 HANA. So in SAP S4 HANA, you might be knowing that uh, with this, uh, the vendor master has changed. You don't have more XK02, you have the transaction BP. So let me show you something that is already available and that's the same across uh, ECCC as well as S4 HANA. So if I go to BP transaction and here I will populate this supplier and if I double click on it and I will try to get the company code related information. So, so here I am already having the company code relation and here you can see this check double invoice is checked. So this what this means this means a lot of things when this is checked all these parameters are checked okay. So this is so I think based on your requirement, the more less criteria you will put, you will catch more duplicate checks. Okay. Now, uh, where you can set this for suppose you want to set it for some company code, you want to set some other parameter and some per, some company code, you want to put some uh, flexible parameter, how can you set it? So there is a transaction called uh, this is the transaction. I'll go again slash and OMRDC and this is the transaction code and here you can see you can put you can it's a matter of check and uncheck okay so here you can see 1710 is checked okay this this is the one we are going to play with now we will say we are going to create a uh, we are going to create a Mm, invoice okay so here what i'm going to see if you look at this okay uh here i have uh invoice okay different invoices that has been created okay and i will try to create an invoice with uh with similarity like this okay and uh how can i do it and how will i find duplicate invoices that has been entered into my system okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a transaction and this is just to let you know from where I have been going here. Let me start again. I'm paying FPL one in. Okay. And here I give the vendor number and the company code. And here uh, what I'm going to do is here you can see that these are the invoice. This is the one that <coughs> that was entered. So let me see, I'll just put the amount so that, you know, I will be just putting the amount. Okay. And here you can see all the different invoices. So here you can see this is the different assignments and all those things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a duplicate invoice similar to this $200. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to slash n fv60 uh, slash and fv60 and i will enter a similar duplicate so i'm the accounts payable person i'll just enter this and put the reference number the same and I'll put the, the document number as similar so i'll put this one and control c control v here I'll put 200 okay now I'll hit enter so here you see posting takes place in previous year I don't care if this is closed and here you see this is saying this so but still I will just save it okay I'll hit save okay and I'll hit save okay did it create okay didn't create yet so it's now saving okay now you see this document got saved now you might say okay where will i get all this information you can go to fbl one in okay because this will get updated okay so with if i go if i go and hit the back button again and if i go here you can see that there is a but here you don't see the assignment here okay so you might be getting confused. So, but there is a table in SAP. Everything is a table. The table name is BSIP. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'll go to SC16. 
or SC16 and or whatever you want. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll go to SC16 and I'll do BSIP and I'll just execute. And here you can see one seven and you will see mark the entries I just entered will be there. So what I'm going to do, I'll put the reference number like this. And here you can see these are the entries that we just entered. And this is the amount, the $200 is there. So this is a very hidden treasure table that you can check to find duplicate entries. Okay. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.